What's going on team? It's Ricky. It's 3.56 a.m. Uh, we have a flight at 6 a.m. to Arkansas and I still haven't packed. So um, yeah, we're gonna be flying to Arkansas today and uh, it should be a fun day. I wanna take you guys along, let's do it. All right guys, I just requested the Lyft. It was a little bit cheaper than the Uber, so uh, we're all packed. Just make sure we have everything over here. Yep, all oh, good. Good, good, good. You guys ready? Is it here? Not 10 minutes. Team. So we got everyone up to date on um, the one plan profit group. So I'm not going to be able to go live. I usually go live every single day at market open, but due to my flight being at 6 a.m., market opens at 7.30. My flight actually takes off at 6, so I'll be mid-flight. Um, so I'll see if I have Wi-Fi in there. I'm flying American, so I should be able to keep everyone up to date. I just want to make sure that I set that expectation that I will not be going live today. And I prefer them to not be like waiting around and stuff like that. So just send them a little friendly reminder. Um, we're waiting for our Uber as of right now. So I believe it's like six minutes away. And uh, yeah, about seven minutes away. And then we're off to Phoenix. Uh, it's 422. So we should at least be out of here by 430 and then there by five o'clock. So um, we don't board till 545. So we're actually making pretty good time. Um, usually better than I am. Alright guys, so um, it's over here. Uh, we just made it to the Dallas airport and our connecting flight was late. Uh, we were like on the actual runway for about one hour and we missed our connecting flight and now the next one does not actually leave until four hours. And on top of that, um, like that one's full, we might not even make it, we're on standby. And then the one after that, that's still full, it's six o'clock. So, I'm not a huge fan of American Airlines right now. All right guys, so quick little update. We're going to be renting a car and driving to Arkansas. Uh, let's do it. All right guys, so about $400 later, um, we rented a little Camry, so we're good. Let's go, baby. How's it going, Officer Bay? Bus Police Park. Got your last name, insurance. Um, yeah, this is a rental. Um, I can show you my like regular car insurance. Okay. The reason you're stopped is driving in the left lane, not pass. The left lane's for passing only. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna write you a warning today. So sorry. I swear I'm from Arizona. Um, like I did not. Wait, left lane is only for passing. Yes, sir. I'm just gonna write you a warning. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, come back here with me. Okay. Is it out of the car? What the heck? It's here, Rick. Alright guys, I've never heard of that before. Ricky got pulled Arkansas. over for being in the left lane. I don't know if you guys heard the cops say that. That's kind of a weird thing to get pulled over for. He said left lanes for passing only. He's only getting a warning, he said, but that's kind of weird in They're general. He's having to step out of the car. And he made him step out of the car. They're back there. I don't know if you can see. The window's kind of musty. Wait, why is he but in the car with them? Ricky's in the police car right <laughs> now with them. That's that's some weird stuff. Oh, no. Is he really getting a warning or arrested? I'm confused now. <laughs> He's in the passenger seat. He is. That's some weird stuff going on. But, all right, guys. Drop a like, pray for Rick. Drop another comment below if this is illegal. 
Weston and I want to know. I'm from Arkansas, and he said step out of the car, which means usually behind the trunk, but instead he's in the passenger Ricky's seat. Ricky's in the passenger seat. He's shotgun in the cough car right now. <laughs> Kind of mean. He was just trying to find something. I yeah, think. no, it's the thirty-first. That's what I was honestly thinking. It's the last day of the month. He yeah. literally like, is there any like drugs in there or anything like that? And I was like, no, sir. Like, again, he's like, you sure? I was like, yes, I promise he you. Said, you check the car. He said, he said, what do y'all do for a living? Do y'all do pretty <coughs> well? I was like, uh, I don't know what the. We, we got it all on film, baby. Let's go. All right, on to the adventure again. All right, what's going on guys? So we made it here to Jonesboro, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> Jonesboro, Arkansas. Uh, Wesson's taking a shower, Jake is here, and I'm about to go live on uh, YouTube. Just gonna recap my day. I haven't gone live today at all, not even for the Lone Pine Profit Group. So, um, gonna go live. Um, I have a live stream tomorrow with the Lone Pine Profit Group at 8.30 a.m. because that's the time the market opens here. And other than that, we're just gonna go live, take a shower, get ready, and then head on out, and then um, we're gonna call it a night. What's going on guys? I just finished going live with the Learn Plant Profit Group. Um, a very like cool concept that we were talking about today was the idea of like our mindset when it comes down to trading. And for all those, again, I, I, I'm sure not all of you guys invest in the stock market, but one of the biggest like I think like changes in my style of trading is when uh, just imagine if every time that you traded, it wasn't to make necessarily like for the monetary aspect, but that all you focused on were patterns. So like, let's say your PL on the day, which means like um, how much you're up or how much you're down, you don't even look at it th throughout the entire day. So you're buying and you're selling based off of the patterns and, and that's all, and indicators that you use and you don't focus at all on how much money you're up or down. Uh, just a little bit of, you know, maybe something that you guys can ponder on um, and think a little bit more about for all those that are trying to refine their, their style of trading. Uh, but I have one more live stream right now. As of right now, it's 9.45 a.m. As you guys can see, uh, this was like the Learn, Plan, Profit live uh, live chat. I just closed out the live stream here. Um, I, I think that today, I mean, I didn't make a huge amount of money at all whatsoever. I did a little bit over $100 um, during the live stream of trading, which is actually very, very slow. But um, it's Friday, yesterday I was up $1,200, the day before that I was up $1,200, the day before that I lost $850, but then the day before that I was up 5.4K. So still very green on the week. Uh, I'm gonna be waiting and kind of seeing um, how this plays out. I have one more live stream to uh, go live on. And yesterday we got home, or I guess kind of this morning, at three in the morning um, and I had to go live at 8 30 a.m. for the learn plan profit group which is when the market opens here in Arkansas um, and then yeah I mean uh, that's really just it All right guys, we just made it to the Marriott here now in Memphis, Tennessee, where you might be here for one day. Jake and I are contemplating of flying to Miami or we might stay here till Sunday. So um, yeah, we're gonna have some fun, go grab some food, and I hope you guys enjoy. What's going on guys? So we're on our way back to Little Rock. Uh, just left, uh, what is it, Jones Grove? Uh, gonna drop Weston off at Searcy, uh, and then gonna drop the car off at Little Rock, and then we have a flight back. Yeah, I she got a man on me. Yeah, yeah he wanna lay the hands on me. Yeah, but he should see the way she dance on me. Yeah, wishing I ain't had no pants on me. Yeah, I she got a man on me. Ready to rally, Jake? I'm actually feeling better. Feel better already? Thank you again for the ride. 